industrial hemp is absolutely nothing more than marijuana. It's a controlled substance. There's uh, the word industrial hemp is basically a, a legal term which describes a, a, a cannabis sativa L that is less than 0.3 percent THC content. The, there's another thing that it takes to be considered industrial hemp, and that's the person that's growing it or handling it needs to be registered with the West Virginia Department of Agriculture to grow industrial hemp. It used to be and probably still used in a lot of ropes, uh, uh, seaworthy ropes, like uh, the type that you tie barges up with. You know, there's a lot of hemp products used to, uh, the fibers used to be used in that. That's not used in, what, in the United States much anymore. It's most of that product is, it comes from China, I believe. Uh, there's talk about uh, graphene, hempcrete. Uh, there, I think most of the money, most of the push right now is going into uh, semi medical uses like uh, CBD oil, cannabinoids. THC obviously is something that's used in medical marijuana, but that's not industrial hemp once again. The Farm Bill of 2014 paved the way for research and development to see whether industrial hemp was actually a, a viable agricultural crop in the country. So many states mirrored that legislation to allow them to experiment with that. Uh, the legal way to obtain seed in West Virginia, you know, taking all regulations into consideration is to import it from overseas, from outside of the country. And uh, the problem with that type of seed acquisition is the fact that the United States doesn't police the United States regulations when in other countries. You know, we, we don't have any teeth there. So all we can do is uh, monitor the situation when it comes in. Well, it turns out that over the last few years, the seed that we've been acquiring from other other countries, the germination rate specifically is not really high. In fact, it's been ex extremely low. So that is one of the reasons why they're, they're pushing for seed certification in, in not just in the United States, but in West Virginia. So we have a little bit more control over germination rate on how seed is stored, the noxious weed component of the seed. And, uh, maybe even the THC content in the seed. That's going to be a multi-year process. First of all, it was just passed and is, uh, and is going into effect currently, but it's going to take a while for us to get the rules, the legislative rules worked out to where we can actually, you know, give the framework of how the Department of Agriculture is going to deal with that. Once that happens, it's going to take probably a year from the time somebody applies for that program to the time that they can actually get through the entire process.